Good morning, everybody. Welcome yet again to another morning of the rooster show. I'm the rooster. This is my nest. And I read from this book every day. It's good. I do it. I do it for me. Um, I do this show for me because when I start to feel like it's for, I don't know, man, when I feel like nobody's watching, I go through this whole process because I love myself. That's something that I was going to talk about today was I am going through a, a bit of a heartbreak. It's been a long drawn out heartbreak. Um, and yeah, it's just as bad as any other one I've had, maybe even worse. Cause I really did believe that this one was possible. Um, and Yet, I love myself more now than I think I ever have properly, like truly, fully true love for the self. Um, yeah, and I need attention, and I really do. I need attention as much as the next guy. But when I, yeah, when I'm trying for it and I'm not getting it, that sucks, I have to say. That's not a it's not a fun, fun feeling. And I think everybody's kind of going through that a little bit in the world. Um, just a bunch of deprived children. So, anyways, I read from this book. I share it with everybody else because I think that it would help everybody else. Hey, is XL too? Um but yeah, when I'm when I'm alone and I don't feel like I have to worry about anything like the last few days, the last while, when I'm not thinking about anybody else and I'm just taking care of myself, I feel okay. But yeah, when I think about people that I love and people that I've hurt, um, that's hard on the heart. December 5th says, pursue the obstacle. Mm -hmm. Pursue the obstacle, it will set you free. When I came upon the mountain, I was in a hurry. I thought it would take too long to make my way around, so I set out to break a path through. Each rock and branch felt like a waste of time. If only the mountain weren't in the way. Hey, Elite Central. I cut my legs and arms as I rushed along. It grew harder to breathe, and I lost all sense of direction. Now I had to climb high enough to see. Once I broke the tree line, something in me had to see the top. Then I hurried my way up, and strangely, as I worked the climb, stepped... Hey, again, follow up. Thanks for being here, bud. Then I hurried my way up, and strangely, as I worked the climb, step after step, I kept rising, but felt as though I were going nowhere. Finally, I broke the clouds. I had never seen sun on top of clouds. I sat in a clearing on a cliff, the light on top of my head like a cloud. Suddenly, reaching the top or getting beyond the mountain no longer seemed important. I liked it up here and felt that I could live on the mountain. This is fucking speaking to me, man. But I had to return. I had to eat. I needed love. But now when someone asks about breaking through what's in the way or being in a hurry, I look both ways and say, pursue the obstacle. It will set you free. This story invites us to honor each obstacle as something flowing in its own right in the universal stream to see ourselves and the obstacle as two limbs of the same tree drifting in the same river, bumping into each other and even blocking one another for a moment. Looking at obstacles this way, we are asked not to oppose what blocks us either as something mounting its will against our own. For the obstacle will simply give our resistance back to us. 
Yeah. We are being asked not to empower or perpetuate the life of the obstacle, but to step aside if we can with openness to the energy of the obstacle, much like the ancient art of Aikido, where instead of blocking a punch, you help the punch move past you. Hey, Combs, Ronnie. All the while, we are invited to question that in us which insists that what is before us is an obstacle in the first place. That may not be so. It may be so. It may be something small that our history of struggle has enlarged into tragedy or bad luck. So if we can, we must focus on our relationship to the stream and not to the things being carried alongside us. If something appears to be blocking our way, we must try to understand what is moving it and what is moving us. If our movement is in the world, if our movement in the world is still blocked, perhaps we are meant to be still. We must try not to damage ourselves unnecessarily by trying to force a movement to happen before it's time. Identify the biggest obstacle in your life at present. This is the meditation. Identify the biggest obstacle in your life at present. What is it keeping you from? Hey, COVID-20. Is that what's your biggest obstacle? Describe the obstacle as a piece of nature that has its own history. Is it like a shell being broken by the surf or a stone tumbling in a landslide or like a small deer frightened in the middle of a busy road? How is what you want or need colliding with what it wants or needs? Oh, this is all very deep and expansive for my brain right now when my heart is aching and I feel tired. I'm sad about this Ms. thing. I feel like our wounds really clashed badly. <laughs> Hey, deep God. All the ways that I tried to do things right, I did things wrong. I don't know how. God. I feel sorry. But I also know I didn't mean to do anything wrong, so I still love myself. I just am very disappointed. Hey, Sam T. I wish that I had known or something. I wish I could explain things. All I wanted, all I ever wanted was to talk to them. That's all I wanted. So that I could fucking know some things it's time for our hard nature of infinite love and gratitude by dr darren today hey ryan i just wanted to talk What's life? <laughs> oh, yeah. <laughs> What's it going to be today? That's the question. What's life? <laughs> okay. What's our what's our answer? What do we got today? Oh, okay. What's it gonna be t 
today what you got for us today let's see yeah 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 oh what's gonna be today really it's action that's what it says action okay the message hey anthony yeah i guess instead of sleeping all the time but man somebody who has a ton of anxiety and doesn't know what decision to make all the time this is not the best card to get <laughs> Okay, but although I will say that sometimes the action is being still meditating. Hi, thanks for the tap. Meditation is an action. It's a very still action, but it takes concentration. So that is a thing. And the message is all about that too. And it's number three. Number three is a special number. Did you know that? For this. I am now choosing to live a life of action rather than one of reaction. Action rather than reaction. Hi, black web and black spider. I am powerfully creating my life. You're creating your life with your actions. Hi. Although, yeah, you can call me sister, I guess. <laughs> I am now choosing to live a life of action rather than reaction. I am powerfully creating my life. So... You make the choices. Don't let life happen to you. Don't try to control it either. You just, you respond to it. And then this one is the one on top. Mystery. The universe and the mind are the great frontier, the unending entity of boundless mystery by being I experience the infinite essence and wonder of life. That's it. The next one is healing. The next one on there is healing. And that's what I've been doing. When I am obsessing over a person, I am not taking care of myself. So I haven't been doing that very well. Um, but then when the, the person inevitably is done with me, uh, I go back to self and I have very powerful healing energy. Um, yeah, which I can give to said people if they would give me the time and yeah. yeah, anyways, only one. What's up? So yeah, I have been doing that. I lay in my bed with my rose quartz on my chest and on my um, sacral chakra. And I just keep repeating how much I love, love me. I love me. Hey there, M3 is, oh. Um, Cassandra, Don, Waldy, I love you so much. Um, It's going pretty good. Thanks for being a fan. I, uh, hi Zeus. Yeah. I'm, I'm going through some heart, heart achy stuff that I'm talking about a bit about, but I'm pretty good. Thanks for asking. I appreciate that. Um, yeah, I, uh, went to school for energy healing and it's like, I forget all of that. And I did lots of meditation practice, but it's like, I forget all that shit when I, fall in love with somebody who has a lot of problems because <laughs> then I just take on all their shit and I forget who I am. But yes, I have been, I have been using, right? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I have been back to self and I have been using my healing energy to heal heal those heart wounds, heal myself, and also them. I've been thinking about them 
and I've been loving them the same amount of love that I had before. Just now I feel a little disillusioned. Um, I only, only ever thought the best of them. And suddenly some things have been cracked and now I'm not so sure about certain things, but um, I still love them. I fell in love with their, their wounded self. So that's who I love. I love, I love the piece of them that they won't, that they can't love. And that's hard. That's a hard thing to do. Right. Yeah. Yeah. Thank you. Only one. Your whole cheek got cracked. <laughs> Butt cheek. <laughs> Just kidding. Um, I think I'll stop my um, YouTube and keep talking on Vigo for a little while. Thanks, anybody watching my YouTube one. And I'll, I'll see you tomorrow. You know the outro.